Good morning. Good morning. Common ground. Common ground. Good morning. Good morning. We're still around. We're still around. Mr. Josh. Miss Jeanette. Miss Liz. And Miss LJ. We're gonna do calendar and maybe learn about the moon and maybe learn our letters and sing a lot and play. And math also. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Common Ground. I'm so happy to see you today. Today, it's the middle of our week, and that means we are just two days away from show and tell. So make sure that you send your pictures and videos in so that we can include them and show it for show and tell on Friday. So it's not Friday today, and we have two days until we get to Friday, so I think we need Miss Jeanette to help us figure out what today is. All right, okay, Miss Jeanette, help us out. Good morning. Let's help Miss Liz figure out what day of the week it is by singing our days of the week song. First, we need to count how many days of the week there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're ready to sing our days of the week song and I have my chart right here to help us. Let's sing. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I hope that helps you, Miss Liz. Miss Jeanette, I don't know what we would do without you. Thank you so much. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and that's our two days, Thursday and then Friday before show and tell. So today is Wednesday, and Wednesday feels like a good day to dance to a song from Mr. Josh. Sounds good to me too. So here's a song. Action. Hi, everybody. I am Mr. Josh, back for more of the Rocket the Blocks concert series from Common Ground. And today I'm gonna get some special help from my happy feet friends. This is a really silly song. I promise your kids love it. we have a story from me. So here's a new story for you. P is for pterodactyl, the worst alphabet book ever. All the letters that misbehave and make words nearly impossible to pronounce. All right, bear with me. This one's going to be a tough one. G is for gnat, K is for night, P is for pterodactyl. What's going on here? Did you know that there are some really wacky words that start with a silent letter? Most of the time you can just ignore that pesky first letter and sound out the rest of the word, but be careful. There are other words in this book that don't follow the rules. Look to the back of the book for help with some of the most mischievous words. A is for aisle. The bread aisle has not been clean in eons 
and nine tiny beasts meet to have a feast. B is for Delium. We doubt anyone knows what Delium is, but the only word dumb enough to begin with a silent B. C is for Czar. Shh! The fascinating Czar is secretly part Czech. D is for Djibouti. The boat race begins when the handsome judge from Djibouti drops his handkerchief from the bridge. E is for you. Eileen the you was so euphoric that the wolves were eaten. She even gave the eulogy. F is not for photo, phlegm, phooey, or phone. F is only for photo when you speak fluent Spanish at home. G is for gnocchi. The gnome yells, waiter, there's a bright white gnat nibbling on my gnocchi. H is for air. The honest air admits that herbalism isn't his cup of tea. I is not for I. We asked the pirate if he has two eyes, and he said, aye, aye. J is for, and I have to look this one up. This is a game that they play. J is for highly. Juanita and Bjorn happily played highly before eating fajitas in Juarez. K is for knight. The noble knight's knife nicked the knave's knee. L is not for L. An elephant named L rode on the L train halfway to El Paso and dined on hearts of palm with her folks. M is for mnemonic, but now Mr. M can't remember why. A mnemonic is a, is a way to remember something. And so these are the Great Lakes, Lake Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, and Superior. It, the mnemonic is homes for it. So that's what a mnemonic is. N is not for not. N is for naughty children who will sing a solemn hymn when autumn comes to an end. O is for Ouija. The French leopard says, we, we love to play Ouija uh, with the wee witch from, oh, I gotta look this one up too. Um, from Oaxaca. P is for pterodactyl. Oh my goodness. Ptolemy, I think. Oh, Ptolemy, the psychic pterodactyl struggles with psoriasis. Q is for quinoa. We enjoy quinoa and quiche by the key of Qatar. R is not for R. In England, the queen proclaims, we aren't saying the R's in butterfly, shark, or lizard. S is for C's. CC swam through the debris in the seas to see the imaginary isle of New Arkansas. T is for tsunami. The charging tsunami washed away all of Tchaikovsky's tchotchkes. U is not for you. You never could have guessed that the wolf was disguised as the U. V is for five. It's the Roman numeral five. How romantic. W is for wren. The wren wrapped the rabbit's gift in red but forgot to write a note. 
X's for xylophone. Xavier's extra arm made him an exceptional xylophone player. Y is not for Y, but but ye. I don't even know how to say that name. Let me make sure that I've got it. But Yves, who's wearing yellow shorts, yells, why is the Eiffel Tower upside down? All right, and the last one, Z is for Zhivago. Good night, Zhivago, the zebra. I've enjoyed our rendezvous. Wow, this is pretty crazy. Isle is a passage where people walk in grocery stores. Autumn is a season after summer before winter. Eon is a very long period of time. Delium is a good smelling sticky resin made by a specific species of tree. Czar is the title of a Russian ruler before 1917. Czech is a person born or living in the Czech Republic. Debris is broken pieces that are left of something after it's been destroyed. Djibouti is a mostly desert country. The L train is railways above the street. El Paso is a place in Texas. U is a female sheep. Euphoric is a feeling of happiness. Eulogy is a speech given at a funeral. Exceptional is much better than average or really good. Photo in Spanish means actually a picture. Gnocchi is a delicious ball of dough that's boiled in water with dumplings. Gnome is a make-believe creature that looks like a little man. Heir is a person who's next in line to inherit something. Herbalism is the study of how plants can be turned into medicine. Hymn is a religious song. Isle is a short word for an island. Highly is a sport that started in Spain. Knight is a soldier from the Middle Ages. A knave is a dishonest person. A knot is when you tie something. A mnemonic is a handy way of remembering something hard by concentrating to, or by connecting it to something easy. Uh, Oaxaca is a beautiful place in the southern part of Mexico. We oui is the French word for yes. Ouija is a game that people play on Halloween. Phlegm is the mucus when you cough up something. <laughs> Fooey is an exclamation or an interjection. Pterodactyl is a huge flying dinosaur. Um, uh, uh, Ptolemy is a name that was popular in ancient Greek, Greek times. Psychic is somebody with a mysterious mental powers. Psoriasis is a skin disease. Quinoa is a a pseudo grain that we eat. Quiche is a yummy pie made of eggs and veggies. Uh, a key is a place where ships load and unload passengers. A uh, cutter is a place in the Middle East. A rendezvous is when people have a secret meeting. Uh, solemn is very serious or formal. Tsunami is a very large wave in the ocean. Tchaikovsky is the last name of a famous musician. Tchotchkes is a Yiddish word meaning ex inexpensive souvenirs or trinkets. A wren is a bird. A xylophone is a musical instrument. And Zhivago is a Russian name that means life. I hope you liked this silly alphabet book. P is for pterodactyl, the worst alphabet book ever. So I hope you liked it and I can't wait to read again to you another time. Bye. Did you guys like that silly alphabet book? I think Penny Dog liked it too. Penny Dog is lucky because her name, Pup Pup Penny, starts with the letter P and there's no extra silly letters in, up front like pterodactyl, ta ta pterodactyl that starts with a P. That's ridiculous. A silly alphabet book like that can make it seem harder when you're just learning your letters and learning to read, but that's okay because it's hard for grownups too. And when we do things that are a little hard for us and challenge us a little bit, it helps us grow and helps us learn. And one of my favorite things to do is to try things that are just a little bit too hard for me because 
by the time by trying them, it makes me better. It makes me grow. And I know that with a little bit of practice, I'll get there. All right. Up next, we have another song from Mr. Josh, and then I'm going to share with you something I've been trying. <laughs> Mr. Josh back here again for another installment of the Common Ground Rock at the Blocks concert series. Today, we're doing a very fun song. We're doing Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed, but we're going to do a rock and roll version. Just how I like it. All right, you guys ready? Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed like that song from Mr. Josh? I hope you did. Well, I have been trying something with my guitar and I keep making mistakes, but every time I try, I get a little bit better. There's a song, it's one of my favorite songs, and they actually sing it in the movie Trolls, so you might know it. And I've been wanting to play this guitar part, but it's really hard. So I've been practicing and I'm going to play it for you and I might make mistakes and that's okay. So I actually did a pretty good job there, but it's a really hard part for me and I keep practicing and I keep trying hard things because I know that when I try hard things, I'm going to get closer to being able to do them than if I just sat back and said, no, no, it's too hard because I'm going to let you in on a secret. With hard work, nothing's too hard. You just have to practice and have patience. Okay. All right, guys. I think it's time to check the weather. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> All right, Miss Jeanette, can you help us out? All right, we are going to talk about the weather. So first, let's sing our weather song. What's the weather like today? Can we go outside and play? So what I want you to do is go up to your nearest window, check the sky, and see what the weather is like. So let's talk about it. I have a special chart right here, and I want you to look outside and tell me, is it sunny? Do you see Mr. Golden Sun outside shining so bright? Is it cloudy? Is Mr. Golden Sun hiding behind the clouds? And all you see in the sky are clouds? Is it partly sunny? Do you see Mr. Golden Sun and some clouds hanging out around it? Or is it partly cloudy? Is there a lot of clouds and a little bit of sun? How about, is it rainy? Do you see dark clouds and water coming from the sky? Well, that's okay, rain is good. Rain helps our plants grow. Or is it windy? 
the trees and the leaves moving about saying whoosh. So take a look outside your window and you tell me what the weather's like. Hope that helps. Okay, let's look out our window. Oh, looks like it's gonna be a rainy day today, but remember that's okay. The rain does great things for our plants. We can still take a walk in the rain. Don't worry, Penny Dog. Uh, because we have raincoats and boots and umbrellas. And there's lots of fun things to do inside too. Now, one of the cool things that I'm excited about because of the rain is it will wash away all my really fun chalk drawings so that when it dries, I can draw more because I love to draw with sidewalk chalk. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with one last song from Mr. Josh, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Sure. Oh, hi there. This is Mr. Josh again, back for the Common Ground Rock at the Blocks concert series. Today, we're going to be doing five green and speckled frogs. And do you remember how this one goes? It starts out very slow and gets very fast. All right, let's start. Five green and speckled frogs sat on the speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckled frogs. Four green and speckled frogs sat on the speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green speckled frogs. Three green and speckled frogs sat on the speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Two green and speckled frogs sat on the speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. Now it's gonna get really fast. Are you ready? <gasps> one green and speckled frog sat on the speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Then there.